because we're smart, resilient, incredibly resilient. resilient. Hello and welcome back. This is Sobriety Made Simple. My name is Timothy Martin. Today we're going to be discussing resilience. This is one of my favorite words in recovery. It defines me. What is resilience? What does it mean? The definition. Resilience is the capacity to withstand and recover quickly from difficulties. Toughness. The process and outcome of successfully adapting to difficult or challenging life experiences, especially through mental, emotional, and behavioral flexibility, and adjustment to external and internal demands. Now, to me, that is the centerpiece of my recovery, the capacity to withstand and to recover from difficulties, mental, emotional, and behavioral flexibility, the ability to adjust externally and internally to difficult demands. That is the fundamental process of ridding your life of alcohol, the ability to be resilient, the steadfastness to be able to do this. Folks, I know what you're facing. I know how you're feeling. This isn't a movie where you go in and two hours, you see this drama unfold in front of you that lasts a matter of minutes and everything's wrapped up in a bow at the end. This is real life in real time. And what you go through last day in and day out, whether you're ready for it or not, week in and week out, month after month after month, whether you're up or whether you're down. You're assaulted psychologically and emotionally, which is its own special kind of pain because it's interdirected. You feel less than. You feel broken in some way. And society doesn't do a very good job in making you feel any other way but that. Ashamed, weak, unfit, an outcast. So there's an internal conflict I do know how it is, but I'm here to tell you that if you cultivate resilience in your life, you can overcome anything. You can overcome this. The drive that compels us to overcome this. I have learned resilience through trial and error. I have learned to develop a thick skin. I have learned to get honest with myself, and I have learned to be willing to give up things, including people, sometimes especially people. Goodbye. How bad do you want it? That's what you have to ask yourself. How much can you take? Do you really want this or are you just playing around with the idea? Because if you're playing around with the idea, I don't even get started. Now I know you can do this because I'm doing it and I'm just another guy. I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm just another guy. If you know what you want, go after it 100%. Give it your best. No half measures. Yoda, tell him. Do. Or do not. There is no try. And if you fail, you fail. But you fail doing your best. You went down swinging. Don't be afraid. Failure is just an opportunity to learn. There's this line in this song by the group Aerosmith. You've got to lose to know how to win. And I believe in that. You think great people never failed? They failed the most. They were resilient enough to keep going. They learned from their failure. That's the difference. Don't ever give up. Now, this is where I differ a little bit from a 12-step program. I don't believe in powerlessness. I do believe that my life became unmanageable because of alcohol. Absolutely. But if there is a higher power, mine is a drill sergeant. Not some benevolent, kind old guy. My higher power is telling me, no one's going to do it for you. I've got to get out there and I've got to go after it. Roll my sleeves up and get to work. Let's get to work. You are the power. You are the one that's got to hit that floor every morning, whether you want to or not. You've got to want this more than you've ever wanted anything in your life. Because this is the fight of your life. And you better see it that way. When you get up in the morning, be ready for your day. Be prepared for whatever your day is going to throw at you. Don't look at it like, oh God, I've got to get through this. This is going to be hell. You'll never make it. Look at it like, okay, it's time for me to get out there and kick some ass. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. You concentrate on your part of things. This channel is called Sobriety Made Simple. And in its simplest terms, you got to man the fuck up. Ladies, I'm talking to you too. <laughs> Grow a spine and get after it. It's out there. This isn't for everyone and not everybody's going to make it. Some people look at the big picture and they get overwhelmed. They're defeated before they even begin, and they quickly give up. That is why you fail. 
but it's not as hard as you think. If you break things down into small pieces and take it one step at a time, fix one problem, then move on to the next one, and then move on to the next one after that. Take comfort in the fact that each step forward is a victory. Give yourself pats on the back. No more self-sabotage. No more self-hatred. You're doing this because you love yourself and you want a better life. You want a better version of yourself. But you're going to have to be resilient to get through. When things get tough, the tough get going. This is where the rubber meets the road. All those old sayings are true. Make it the best day you can. Every day. You have it in you. You can do it. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Feel good about what you're doing. Feel good that you're watching this video right now. Now go out there and kick some ass. I'm gonna kick some ass all over that fucking place. We'll see you in the next video. Leave a comment below and tell me how you're doing. If you want to ask me something in confidence, go to my channel page and send me an email. There's a link there. Give me an alias name and an alias city. And when I do my frequently asked questions video, I'll answer it for you. Okay, I'll use your aliases. I do believe in anonymity. All right, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe, okay? It helps me make these videos. We'll see you in the next one. And remember, you got this. We're going to kick some ass.